Hey, this is MacHeads101. I'm Jake. Welcome to your sixth Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about menus. So, like, like these kinds of things, like a file menu. And it's just going to have three colors, red, blue, and yellow. And when you click one, it turns everything yellow. When you click one, it turns the background, not everything, the background uh, blue or red. So, I'm going to make this extend JFrame. And all right, so the first thing we have to make is J menu bar, which is like this bar that has all our menus in it. So I'll call that bar. Then, um, yeah, I'll just call it menu menus. And we're only going to have one menu, and that's going to be like this, like a menu. And then all these are um, things in the menu. So private. J radio button menu item and I'll call that red. I know it's a long name, but it's a menu item and a radio button means only one can be selected at a time because we only want one color to be selected at a time because we're only changing it to like red, blue, um, or yellow. So that's what the radio part means. It means that only one can be selected at a time. I'm just going to copy and paste this and make... Um, blue green all right so now then make the constructor okay and in our constructor I'm just gonna bar equals new J menu bar pass in um, yeah nothing there menu equals new J menu and I'll pass in um, Colors red equals new. I'm just gonna copy and paste this little phrase here because it's a lot to write or type, and I'll call it red, blue, and green. And I said I was gonna make it yellow, but why not make it green? doesn't really matter then set layout new flow layout because there's no need to um, use absolute positioning we only have one thing in here that menu bar set size I'll make it 300 by 250 set default load operation And I'll set the title as colors. All right, so now what I want to do is bar.add menu. So that I added the menu to the menu bar. Menu.add red. So that's red. That item is added to that menu. Menu.add blue. And menu dot add green. Now, in order to make it so you can only select one at once, we make what's called a button group. Um, so that means you can only select one at once. So button group group equals new button group. And all I have to do is group to just add something to the group. Group dot add um, red. Add blue and add green. All right, so did all that. Let me just see if I missed anything. Oh, yeah, I have to actually add the menu bar or else nothing here is going to show up. All right, so now I'm going to implement action listener okay so then I'm gonna have red dot add action listener and this is gonna wait for our event to happen and then when it happens it's gonna change the color of the background based on the event I talked about um, event handling in a previous tutorial at least with the action listener 
and now we have to implement that uh, method public void action performed action event e okay and in here i'm just going to say if e dot get source as in the location of the event is red set background color dot red which means if the location of the event is red as in if red is selected make the um, background color red and I'll do the same for um, blue and green and color dot blue in all caps just means blue so and right so there we go and I'm just gonna run this and you'll see your colors and I click red and then the backgrounds red I click blue it's blue I select green is green as you can see only one can be selected at a time because I grouped them together like that so there you go you're changing the color with this colors file menu when you click it exit so basically I'll just review really quickly what I did which is I made a menu bar so I can store menus I made a menu to put in there and I put items in there which are red blue and green and um, I made this group so that only one can be selected at a time and I added to all three of those items the action listener so that it can see if red selected it knows to set the background color red so yeah thank you for watching MacHeads 101 subscribe and goodbye